Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the week of February 26th through March 4th. This is for the sign of Leo. Generally my readings turn out to be love readings. We will see what comes up. I already did one for you guys, um, but I can't, I can't share it. So we're going to start over. What do you have for Leo? Oh, jeez, I'm crawl. She was in the last one, too. Somebody who is feeling um, quite down, unhappy, ungrateful, not enjoying life at this point. Please let this... Oh, my God. I really need some different cards. Please, God. Different. This is what I'm looking for. Something different. Okay? So, uh, I can't make it change. I'm hoping that it's going to change, but I don't know. You guys are hanging on to something that doesn't serve you. Okay? It's like I said, this is my second go-around. I got the whole video. got it almost all the way downloaded, and I decided to not to, to play it. Um, and these two cards were absolutely right next to each other as well. And the other one, I'm just going to keep shuffling. And you just saw me shuffle. So the, you guys are holding on to something. You have to struggle through it. This does not serve you. The devil was in the other reading. Um, you guys have to free yourself. What does the devil bring? The devil brings uh, nothing good to your life. Okay? It's lies, deceit. All right? You guys are, are struggling right now. Things are not very smooth. There's a, a feeling of unhappiness. And you have, you are being called to find that strength within you to stop resisting this change that is needed. Oh, she's some crow. She was there too, okay? And I just shuffled and shuffled, okay? So unbelievable. She was right here. And she was right here. But she this was in the same spot. Amazing. Amazing. Son of a gun. Wow. Anyway, um... Somebody's not accepting the truth. It's time. It's time for you to take the blindfold off and own up to this. You're in limbo. You're stuck. You're stuck on something that doesn't serve you. And it's making you very unhappy. I saw a lot of illness in the other one where you guys were physically ill over this choice, this decision, this thing that you need to let go of that you're holding on to. Oh, God. Yeah, strength was there, too. Lack of, lack of courage, lack of discipline, lack of willpower, lack of strength. It's time. It's time for you to find yourself again. Oh, jeez. Um, she was here too. Unbelievable. Okay, somebody is being dishonest. Somebody is being dishonest with their true feelings here. And you have to really, really do the right thing. Somebody's not being doing the right thing. There's lack of integrity. Somebody's holding on to something that, you know, because they're scared. They're scared of being alone. They don't want to be alone, you know. And that one was not there. This one was. Okay, so the thing is, is you have, it's time to accept the truth. It's time for you to accept the truth. It's time for you to speak your truth. It's time for you to communicate. It's You are being offered the opportunity, the powerful opportunity to speak up, to be true, to be honest. You're being offered that right now. But it looks like you're not. You're not going to accept it because this is a lack of a new opportunity. You have the opportunity being offered. It's being handed to you with the strength card. But... If the strength is reversed. I don't think you have the strength to communicate your true feelings regarding a situation. So therefore, there's no growth. There's no new new expansion. There's no no real new uh, exciting opportunity in front of you because you lack the strength and the power to speak your truth. You're in denial. Okay, you're in denial. And the thing is, is that you've reached a dead end. You have reached a dead end. You're, there's, you're at a crossroads and you're going nowhere. 
You're going nowhere. You're refusing to see another approach, okay? The fact of the matter is, is ego is in the way. Ego is in the way. This is a very egotistical card. Ego is in the way here. It's been, you're blocking, you're blocking any expansion from coming into your life based on egotistical decisions, okay? There's a lack of integrity once again. I mean, this is lack of integrity, lack of feeling worth. I mean, maybe your self-worth is has taken a nose dive. I don't know, you know, and so now the ego is driving your decisions. And I feel, you know, ego can make you feel like you don't want to be alone, okay? <laughs> Many of you are living in, uh, in isolation. You're feeling very isolated. I see a lot of disappointment here. You have to free yourself. You need to step outside of your comfort zone. You need to reevaluate this whole situation, okay? It's really time to reevaluate the truth and, and really consider finding the strength within you. You need to find the strength within you to free yourself. Find the strength, which you at this point don't have, to free yourself. You're not bound tightly. You can walk away whenever you're ready. But that involves stepping out of your ego and doing the right thing. We're going to clarify with this other deck, this Hanson Roberts deck. I want to know what this Nine of Cups is. What is this Nine of Cups for Leo? Oh. You're stable and secure where you're at. That's the problem. You know, that's, you know, some people don't look at that as a problem, but yeah, secure and stable. That's great. That's great. Where's the love? Where's the love? Damn it, I'd like to see it. Come on now, point out the love cards to me. Can somebody? There's lack of, there's lack of forward movement. Nothing's going nowhere. There's no forward movement. Nope. And somebody is just learning lessons one right after another here. There's a lot of lesson learning going on right now. There's a door that needs to be closed and you're refusing to shut it. And that's what I see. There's some kind of door because nines are closure. Nine, nine. Um, stalling. Absolutely stalling. I feel as though you have a lot of doubt and you have a lot of fear in your head, but you're just not quite ready to step outside of your comfort zone. There's another nine under with the nine of cups, three nines. Time for closure. Something needs to end. Because right now, there's it's like... There's some feuds going on within the family. There's family feuds going on. <coughs> this card was there as well. And this card, which I already told you. There's some kind of feuding that is going on and you are being called and I think there's that you don't want to turn away from a commitment there's some kind of commitment that you don't want to turn away from because it's secure it's stable and secure and you haven't had that security now that you like that security but there's no there's no love I mean where's the love here there's feuds going on there's feuds going on it's like somebody is moving away you know, or they're thinking about turning away, and you have to have the strength and the courage and the and the confidence and the willpower and the discipline to let it go, to let something go, because this is this is a completion. Turning away from something, you have to have the strength to let something go. and stand up for what you believe is right to defend yourself you have to have the strength to defend yourself instead of procrastinating and not taking action you're not you're not standing up for yourself you're not taking action there's a lack of communication. There's a lack of forward movement. Nothing's happening. The, the Knight of Pentacles is reversed under there. There's nothing happening. Nothing is happening because nobody is taking action. 
oh my god the cards are unbelievable all three of these cards were in this one were in the last reading too it's unbelievable there's this right here is be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice what you own owns you if you stay in limbo if you stay unable to make this decision if you lack the strength what you do in many arenas if you lack the strength to do the right thing with the justice card if you if you can't then that's what you're gonna have to live with you're gonna live in that feuding dilemma that you've been living in until you make the right decision because that's why justice is here you have to make the right decision justice is under here you have and you're not because it's reversed you have to make the right decision regarding this family issue that's going on there's some issue could be with a partner could be with children could be with your family I don't know there's a family issue here in which you are in limbo you're stuck you need to make a decision but you're not making a decision first of all first of all is you don't want to be alone second of all you don't want to do it on your own you need the financial security you need you just need somebody there with you whatever it is this person doesn't want to be alone right here is it very comfortable being alone doesn't want to be alone upright she's very very comfortable on her own she enjoys the finer things in life she's independent this is codependency reversed I don't want to be alone somebody doesn't want to do it on their own that's why they're resisting making this change and but be, but the lesson here is, is you have to struggle through this it's definitely a lesson you will pay the consequences of not doing the right thing there is absolutely no doubt about it you will pay the consequences of not doing the right thing there will continue to be struggles in the household until somebody does the right thing and there's a lack of forward movement. There's like a lack of self-confidence, a lack of self-worth, a lack of self-respect, or a lack of respect. It's up to you, though. This, When the Seven of Cups comes up, this says, hold up. Think twice. Hold up. What is it that you want? Do you want to live here, or do you want to live there? It's your choice. It's your choice. I see that you're very confused at this time. I don't know what to do. But it's time to bring back balance to your life. You can't hide your true feelings and addictions forever. Things are very insecure. I feel like you're, you feel like you're unable to move forward you feel like you don't have the skills you feel like you can't you can't move on you can't do it you feel like you're not good enough you feel so alone when really it's a time of compromise I see a lot of compromises needed you need to make some compromises here You can have both. Some kind of compromising is needed here. Somebody is needs to compromise, whether it's you or the other person, somebody needs to compromise in some arena. You're on, it feels like you're on really thin ice and you're about to crack. Somebody is absolutely about to crack with the tower card. When you build something on a false foundation, it can only last for so long. There's no more forward movement. Somebody is not mastering their emotions. They're not finding their mental strength. And I'm sorry to tell you this. Somebody Nate, needs to take the lead and stop resisting this change that needs to happen. There's a change. And you know what it is, Leo. So don't pretend, which you have been with the Two of Swords, that you don't know what it is. Because you do know what it is. 
There is a change that needs to happen. And procrastination at its finest is in play at this point. Procrastination with the cake with the Knight of Pentacles reversed as well. I am procrastinating. I cannot make this decision. I am so confused. I am so undecided. I really can't deal with this change. I don't want this change. Right now I'm stable and secure. Change is scary. And I think I might even lack the strength to do it. I think I might. The truth is, I know what the truth is. That I have to remove something. I have to free myself. I have to find the strength to do it. Strength upright is under there. You have to find the strength to remove something from your life that doesn't serve you. That you've been hanging on to. But the struggle is real. The struggle is real. You have to find the strength to struggle through this. Because it's just a lie. The devil was in the last one. Remember, I already told you that. And that, it's amazing. The devil was in the outcome down here in the last one, too. And that's the last card I was going to pull. For That's amazing. Amazing. What does the devil bring? Lies. Lust. False bonds. The devil brings false foundations in which you have the power to free yourself from at any time. The tower, I generally call the tower the universe, saying, okay, you're going nowhere because I can see that you're not making any decisions. You lack the strength to do it, okay? The tower says, all right. You don't have the strength, so I'm going to give you some the hard way. So I feel as though this week you could be presented with a crack that forces a change. forces some kind of communication, some kind of co compromise, because comp compromising is needed here. Somebody needs to make a compromise. Reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately, and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. Make time for yourself. Do something that you want to do despite what anybody else thinks. And if they don't like what you want to do, then maybe they're the ones that need to be removed. Something needs to be removed. You matter. What does the devil bring? Manipulation. Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Leo here several times. We have you. We have Libra. These two cards alone say that you need to free yourself from something. If we were to do this reading on these two cards alone, <coughs> you need to free yourself from something that is false, that is a lie, that is controlling, that is manipulative. <coughs> but it's going to be a struggle. 
So anyway, Leo, that's what I have for this week. Talk to you later.